I'm Dr. Jessica Simons, and I'm spending lockdown talking to my immersive arts friends in the northwest of England about their inspiration and creative practice. Hi, I'm Shimit Sarko. I'm a, a digital artist. Uh, I work with digital painting and sculpture and VR. I've always felt that um, because my work's always been quite digital and more recently moved to the abstract, um, the, the more it goes in those directions, the more I need to keep one foot in traditional analog techniques. So I, I love drawing by hand, pencil and paint. Um, and even though a lot of my work ends up being digital, it feels kind of important to, to keep that route there. Um, going back more than 10 years, I was working with um, 3D print for sculpture and more recently um, working with marble, um, but also with more, more advanced 3D print processes like multi-material 3D print, which is um, the future in the present. And, and of course, AR and VR uh, has been very exciting since it's um, sort of surged in the in into the mainstream and i'm really interested in sculpture physical sculpture existing in in an augmented reality kind of world so this was my first piece on oh, the lovely. stratasys j750 and it has six different materials you can see there's different shades of pink and they've, they've all got different translucencies if that's a word i would say there's an echo of hindu sort of style in there um other other bodies of work looked at um street art graffiti kind of work as um thematic influence and then another one was very personal and sort of looked at science fiction and comics uh and all that stuff was figurative um and then when i went abstract it kind of feels like it's all in here you know like yeah. there's elements of it felt quite freeing to because I, I couldn't make a piece uh, before until I had the idea of what the idea was, um, and then when I when I went into abstract form, it felt quite freeing. And even though there wasn't a plan for it to have echoes of sort of Indian art or the comic art or the graffiti, it feels naturally like it's kind of in there somehow. So, what are you looking for when you do your abstract forms? What, what's in your mind when you're creating those shapes? Um, it's not as easy as, as I thought it would be. Um, I, at the moment, I'm averaging about one or two shapes that I like a year. So it's actually wow. equally frustrating as it was to try and find a figurative idea that I thought was worth seeing through. So year one of uh, when I first got to work with the marble uh, and, and I knew that we were coming out from these big blocks of marble and we were making shapes, that kind of, so a lot of the time the process that I'm working with will inspire the idea. The sculpture I made last year, the idea came from going to a friend's birthday and I thought what would I, what would I get her or make for her and then I had this idea of an earring that was 3D printed using this, this process and this teardrop shape came out and then suddenly that was me for half a year. 